It is with poor pass, but he manages to get the rebound. Jota into Hlasek. Oh, it's wide. How's it going, everyone? My name is Stu, and welcome to the Deportivo La Coruña save here on FM24. Thank you for joining me in today's video, which is part number 29, where we're going to be hopefully trying to get through to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. We've got Arsenal, because of course we've got a team like Arsenal in the second leg of that game, followed by Villarreal in the second leg of the Copa del Rey semi-final, because of course it's Villarreal, and of course we're potentially going to be in, I think, what would be our third final in a row, and hopefully... Third time's the charm. And if you're excited to see how we get on in today's video, don't forget to leave a big like on there for me. And don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You'll make me happy. What's not to love? So, since you last with us, there's actually not been that many games at all. So, we last saw you with the Freiburg game. We've actually only played two games since then. The first leg against Arsenal, which we won. We won it. It was at home. We took advantage of that. Yusuf and Makoko, just back from his injury... Got us the goal in the 75th minute. We ended up winning it 1-0. It was a very close game, all things considered. Um, if you look at the match stats, we actually, I'm not going to say dominated, but we had a lot more chances than them. We dominated the first half. That is fair to say. They came back strongly in the second half, but that last kind of 20-minute period, we really put the pressure on them and managed to squeeze things over the line. And it was literally Makoko's first game back. He came off the bench, did a good job, was very happy with that. And then we had a madness against Valladolid. This was utter nuts. So we went down by two goals. David De Gea actually carried the ball over the line. I need to show you this goal. It was stupid and it really annoyed me. But as you can see the rest of the game, I can now kind of chuckle about it. But this one did annoy me just a little bit. Let's have a look at it. So... Building up from the back, this is in the seventh minute. Sanchez, lovely um, cross, well, lovely cross, lovely deep pass there. And that's the goal. Blink and you'll miss it. Blink and you'll miss it, ladies and gentlemen. Should we, should we have a, what, another watch of it? Um, so it's a deep pass here from Sanchez over to the winger. And the winger just, it's deflected over to him, to be fair. So the fullback, I think, was Trilly. It was Trilly, our homegrown boy. Uh, Trilly is the one who had the deflection. I mean, both De Gea and Trilly really recovered but I was a bit cross after that and then Manchu who I've coveted as a midfielder for a while ended up scoring which really upset me as well but then Furich came back to form at the best possible moment three goals and two assists in this game Vandenberg with a couple of goals as well Kjargaard ended up getting another one as well so that was really good and that's put us in good spirits for the game against Arsenal now a few things I do want to mention before we get into the game um, we have had new contracts signed for some of our players. So, let me get to here. Um, Illich is not one of them. He's not one of them. Jota. We actually signed Jota to a new contract. New release clause of over £40 million. Um, Akoli is not one of them. Casale is not one of them. I think I might have signed David. No, I didn't sign David to a new contract, actually. Carrillo, I did. I signed... No, I didn't sign Carrillo. Who else did I sign to a new contract? Furich. That's who. I signed Furich to a new contract. Again, £50 million for a release clause which is sensational. I think I did one or two of the younger players as well. I also signed David De Gea to a new contract. He's here for longer, which is a risk for a 36-year-old, but he's on less money. Smart, I think, maybe. Um, I was looking at Trilly as a new contract as well. I think there might be one or two that are still outstanding, but we've signed a few players up to new deals. I've also signed a couple of other... Well, no, one of the youngster. This guy's one of the 17-year-olds who I was on about who I had to sign because we needed bodies. He's one of the ones who might have good potential, might not have good potential. But we've signed this guy, Arthur, from Roma. He's going to be joining us in the summer, 18 years old, potentially four-and-a-half-star potential. Might have issues with living abroad, but again, part of our kickoff. We've got the money. Let's use it on young, if not wonder kids, young good players. So... With all of that out of the way, let's have a very quick look at the league and see how it is. Because we're not going to be looking at the league today. That is the table. We're still third. We've got two games in hand on the top. And we're six points behind. We could go top. It's highly unlikely. Goal difference means it's highly unlikely. But technically speaking, we could go top. Uh, we still haven't played Real Madrid. That game actually got moved. That was going to be the next game after the Freiburg game. It's been moved over to this really hideously busy April. Imagine how much busier that's going to be with Champions League in it. It's going to be horrendous, but we'll deal with it when we get there. But yeah, that's that. You know what happened in the game against Arsenal in the Champions League. We haven't played uh, Villarreal yet. 
that means let's get into the game, shall we? Let's just get into it and let's see what happens. So this is going to be year 11 for the game against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. I nearly forgot the name of the stadium then. It is De Gea in goal with Carrillo, Akoli, Vandenberg and Miranda as his defence. Gomez, Kjargaard and De Costa in the midfield with Furich and Jota. Supporting strikers up front. I've moved Furich and Jota back around to the way that they should be. And to be honest with you... He saw what it happened with Furich. It, it worked really, really well. Um, in terms of injuries, Makoko's picked up another knock, which is really annoying. Actually, he's got the flu, so we've sent him home. Komas has picked up a knock as well. Veloso isn't quite fit again, but we've got Illich back, who has played recently, has played well. Lajek back, who has put a few minutes in. Um, Gomez is already back in the first team, as is Okoli as well. So we are almost up to full strength. Right, the moment is upon us. Let's actually get to the game, and let's see whether we can get a decent result. I'd quite like that, if we can possibly do such a thing. <laughs> um, it's only the one goal lead. That's the thing. So, at the end of the day, I think our task for this season was just to do as well as we can do. We've got to the proper knockout round. To me, that's huge progress. Interesting thing with Arsenal. They've changed their formation. They didn't do a 4-2-4 last time. I can't remember what it was. I don't think they did anyway. But I'm pretty sure the 4-2-4 is new. I'm sure they did like a 4 Two three one or a four three three. I certainly don't remember Odegaard playing as a defensive midfielder, which is a bit of an odd one. But they've changed things up. They obviously really need a result here to get through. If anything, they need to get through more than we do. The pressure is on Arsenal here. However, they've got quality players in their team, so I'm not under any illusions of the task at hand here. But I'm also under no illusions of the quality that we do possess. If we get an opportunity and we take it, we're in. We're in. However. Arsenal are in. Or not, it might be disallowed. Who knows? Who <laughs> the devil knows? Um, it is going to the assistant referee. It's going to VAR as well. The line flag didn't go up, so I'm assuming this will be given. It is given indeed. I think this is the beginning of a bit of a battering, if I'm, if I'm truthful with you. Saka with the pass to Colo Mawani. I mean, the fact they've got Colo Mawani, who I've used him in FM24... He's a monster. The fact that they've got him, along with all of their other players, is obscene to me. It's absolutely obscene. Uh, De Costa's given away a penalty. No, he hasn't given away a penalty, actually. I thought he had done, but we've got the ball back here. Jota now running down the line. It's a poor attempt at a pass through, though. And Arsenal come again. It's Colo Mawani in, and it's 2-0. Before it even hit the back of the net, I knew it was 2-0. It's being checked again. The linesman is miles away from the line. And his flag was up. I think we might be within a, with an assist from the linesman here. And it might be disallowed. It is. It's only the 1-0. Right. We are going to encourage the boys here. It's a bit early to do that. But we're a goal down. They've had one disallowed. Let's try and get things going here. Right. Other guard. Deep free kick. Over. And it doesn't really lead to anything. And De Gea will now have a goal kick. We are getting battered here. But it's fine. <laughs> he says. It's absolutely fine. We just need to get something going. We've had an opportunity, which is good. We're getting a bit of possession in now as well. We just need the passing to be a little bit slicker. But at the moment, they are all over us. Right. Goal kick from De Gea. I'd like him to pass it out. I love the fact that the halfback comes this deep. This is exactly what I want him to do. We get the ball to the halfback to Gomez. Gomez to Vandenberg. Right. Let's try and build something here. Miranda, who scored that sensational free kick. But it's a poor pass from Miranda into Jesus. And it is a goal. I was going to say, has that not gone in? I'm... I mean, I'd like to see the, the VAR on that, if that's okay. I'd like to see well, the goal line technology, if anything. Because I don't know if that did go over the line. I think it rolled across it. I'd very much like to see this again. Right, Miranda's poor pass. I mean, regardless of anything, it's a really, really poor from Miranda. Yeah, it does. It does hit the side netting. It does go in. Right, well, Miranda is very much at fault for that. The defence are having a shocker. De Gea hasn't covered himself in glory either. I'm going to demand more from the boys because it has been a very poor first half. But this is a whole nother level of team. Okay, we've played Barcelona, we've played Real Madrid. They are on that level, if not above it. But Arsenal are an international team who we are not used to playing. And they've got some quality players. And they are absolutely putting us to the sword here. If anything, we're unlucky with the fact that we've had the home leg first. Because although we won it, we only won it by the one. There we go. They're turning the style on now. That might be offside, but I don't think it is. Oh, this is a battering. This is not what we need before the Copa del Rey semi-final. Actually, it has been disallowed, so it is only two. And we've come back from two goals very recently on multiple occasions. So who knows what happens here. But that is poor as anything. That is really, really, really poor. 
It's a huge mistake from Miranda. Akoli and Carrillo not doing anything of any good. Uh, De Gea not doing anything any good on his return against the Premier League club. Kjargaard hasn't done very well either. And the forwards are really not getting the job done either. So I'll shout at all of them. We need to do something a little bit different. But I don't really know what the solution is. I mean, I'm going to make personnel changes. That is going to happen no matter what. So changes, first of all, both of the fullbacks are being changed. Um, we're going to bring on Illich, we're going to bring on Trillian, we're going to try and get something going with those guys. Then I'm looking at the front line and I'm thinking, Hwajek's going to come on for Stoikas. But I'm also maybe, I'm thinking we take Kjargaard off because of his nerves and we do that. And we put Stoikas back to his natural position. And Gomez are going to take off for Moncayola because Moncayola has had more game time recently than him. So maybe we try to force him back into the team a little bit early. Now, that's a lot of changes all at once, but I think they make sense. And also, we still have one in reserve should we have any injuries or anything daft like that. I don't think there's anything I want to do changing our playing style because our playing style is what got us here. I don't think it's going to be something that's worth it. If I'm honest, I think we just need to make sure that we're getting the ball back a little bit quicker as we go. We're trying to trap, out, trap outside. I'm going to try and get us to stop crosses, although I don't necessarily know if the crosses have been what's done us in. But I think they have. that first attack definitely was from wide. So we'll try and do something. And we'll go for early crosses. We'll try and get in behind them and try and get Klaasjek using some of his... He's not got a lot of pace, but using the limited amount of pace that he does have. I think that's all we can do. That is all we can do. We'll, we'll get the four guys who are coming on to try and fire up a little bit. And we'll just see what happens. And we'll just fire the boys up. It's only a two-goal deficit. Yes, they've had two goals disallowed. But it's only a two-goal deficit. We can get something out of this game still. Right, Furic now into Moncayola. Can't get it there. Oh, it's poor from Colo Mouani. Jota now with the ball. And remember, it's only 2-1 on aggregate. We have to remember that. Akoli gets tackled. Cleared. Vandenberg heads it down to Jota. We're doing well here to keep possession. Stoikers gets it out to Jota. Jota now. He's been forced out of the box. Goes back to Da Costa. Saka manages to tackle. Vandenberg, though, we're keeping possession here quite well. And it's a shot from Da Costa, and it's had to be saved by Ramsdale. Good play there. Good attempts there from us. And we have a corner for it. Can we make something of it? I really wish we still had Kjargaard on because he's so good from aerial threats. Vandenberg is as well, but it does go over. Great start to the half from us. Really good. Putting the pressure on them early. And we have another highlight here. Trilly now. Over to Furic. Da Costa. Tries to get it to Klojek. Klojek was just a bit too far. He needed to be a bit deeper. Right, Vandenberg now. Looking to get things going again. Moncayola. Looking to get it forward into Da Costa. Da Costa now. Looking for the pass to Akoli. Akoli out wide to Trilly. To Furic. Furic turns his man. Going out wide here. But he just has a heavy touch. And Tommy Asu deals with it. And now, here come Arsenal. They have possession. Ben White now at right back. Forward. But it's intercepted by Illich. Poor pass from White. Stoikers now. Da Costa. Goes back to Vandenberg. I'd like us to get it forward a bit more with a bit more urgency. Stoikers into Illich. Illich with poor pass, but he manages to get the rebound. Jota into Hlasek. Oh, it's wide. Oh, it's wide. It's a corner, though. It is a corner. Right, Da Costa. This has been breathless. It's not even 60 minutes yet. Whips it in. Looking for the head of a Akoli. Headed out. But it's an Arsenal head that heads it out. It is going to be another corner. Bloody hell. It is the cost to take the corner. He's going to go long, I think. He is. Looking for a Akoli again. Doesn't find him. And Odegaard now on the ball. And here come Arsenal on the counter. Saka now. Looking to get out wide. It's tackle. Tackled from Moncayola. Again, the start to the second half has been sensational. We need to keep it up. We're going to demand more from the boys. We've been all over them in this second half. We need to keep at it. There's a goal to equalise this in this game. We just need to find it. Right. I think we need to make a final change. It's actually been poor from Stoikers and Da Costa. I've got Firmin. I've got Aralana. I think we take Stoikers off. He's had the worst game of all of them. Let's take him off. And we're going to bring on Firmin. In an unfamiliar Mazala position. I haven't used him as a Mazala yet. He's only played out wide. But he can play there. I, arguably, it's his best position on the pitch. As well as attacking midfield. But we're bringing him on. Final 10 minutes, we're going to go attacking. I'm going to fire the boys up again. We've really come back into it in this half. If we go out, we've gone out swinging. But I think there's a goal here. I genuinely think there's a goal here. They've lost a man to injury. Their goalkeeper is injured. Bukayo Saka... Has had to go to goalkeeper. Hold the phone. 
Shoot on sight, lads. Get that ball in there. We are pressing as high as we can now. Step up more. We've got limited time left to try and make the most of this. I've not seen a goalkeeper get injured for ages. I know it happens because it's happened to me once, I think. Right, we go out wide. We're forcing everything out wide. We're focusing down the wings. Can we get a chance with Bukayo Saka in goal? Right, corner. Akoli. We just need to get the ball. They're down to 10 men as well. We just need to get the ball and run at them and get a shot on target. We just need to get the ball off of them and go for it. They'll get the extra substitution in extra time. But if we can get the ball off of them here, we just need to get the ball off of them. It's a deflected goal. Oh, that's cruel. Oh, that's so cruel. And Vandenberg is the one who's deflected it into his own net. It was never going to be a given if we had the shot. It was never going to be a given. But that is really cool. Declan Rice with the shot. And it's deflected. De Gea had that covered all day long. No one's at fault there. But Declan Rice with a deflected effort puts it past us. Even if we had the extra shot there, we'd still be out. I think Arsenal can count themselves a bit lucky there. Yes, they stormed ahead. Yes, they had two goals disallowed. But the second half performance from us was... Borderline heroic. We had some great chances. We just, if we had Makoko on the pitch, what would have happened? Because we'd have had a lethal finisher to finish some chances that we had. You can see it's our on target that was the problem. But we had the chances. We gave it a good shot. And if we could have just taken advantage of Ramsdale's injury a bit more, we could have potentially done something and got to extra time. But Vandenberg, desperately unlucky. Him and De Gea on low ratings. They don't deserve that. I'm going to say that they did themselves proud. They did themselves proud. I'm very proud of them. Very, very proud indeed. Right, well, that is Champions League over. And again, just to confirm, Club Vision, Champions League, what did they expect out of us? Be competitive. We absolutely were competitive. I am so proud of them. 3-0 is very, very harsh. But it is what it is. And he's now happy because he can't be in the Champions League squad anymore. Right. It's time for Villarreal. But not that Villarreal. Because we're actually playing them back to back now. Once in the league. Once in the Copa del Rey semi-final. Second leg. We'll come back for that one. I'll play them in the league. And fingers crossed. We can bounce back from a disappointing result against Arsenal. But one we can definitely hold our heads up uh, high with. I'll see you in a moment for that game. Well, could have been better, could have been worse. We ended up with a draw against Villarreal in the first game against them. Um, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but a little bit disappointed when you see how many shots we had, um, how we um, outpossessed them. But again, passing. I think we need to look at better pass to the ball when we look at transfers for next season because that is what lets us down. We've got bailed out by both Pojek and Fermin's first goal for the club as well, which is obviously fantastic. I don't think there's any other news to bring you. I haven't looked at any other transfers, I don't think. Um, but we have um, renewed contracts. We've done a bit of staff stuff as well off camera. But we are now through to the second leg against Villarreal. Remember, they are leading us by a single goal. Um, issue. Stoikas and Makoko both injured again. Makoko, Makoko was um, out of action, um, I think, before potentially. Um, he's got the flu. He is going to be back in two days, but he's just a bit too soon for this one. Stoikas picked up a knock. He's out for two to four weeks. It does mean that we've got Kjargaard getting a bit more game time though and then when he's out maybe Fermin will get into that position and get some game time too but anyway this is the 11 we're going to be using for the semi-final of the Copa del Rey against Villarreal it is De Gea in goal Carrillo, Akoli, Vandenberg and Miranda in defence Gomez, Kjargaard and Da Costa in the midfield with Furich and Jota supporting Klajek up front Klajek we know he can do the job as a striker but I don't know. I, I think he has definitely had most of his good football from the wing as an inside forward. Hopefully, though, he can do the job today. I mean, he did okay in the last game, so fingers crossed he can do okay today as well. Let's get into it. Villarreal off currently... Well, they were before the last game. I haven't checked it since, but they were fourth in the league. So they're not going to be a particular pushover, so we do need to respect them. We do need to heavily respect them, in fact. So let's see what we can do. We are at home, of course, which is definitely a positive. Um, last time we were not at home, so you know maybe this time we can uh, get something going on them. Again, the thing we're going to be lacking in this game is the finishing, the actual end products. That's the thing we desperately, desperately are going to be missing. 
Pajek's finishing is a 12, so he can put the ball in the back of the net. He's just not as prolific as someone like Mukoko. But he has scored goals this season, so, you know, I'm not overly upset and depressed about the prospect of him being our striker. I think he can do a decent job. The cost of having a decent game at the moment, hopefully he can just get some of these balls penetrating a bit further. We've been on top in this game, but we have not had the killer chance that has deemed worthy of a highlight by the game. And we are still waiting for it as we get to half time, and that is going to be half time. Yikes, no highlights. We need to step things up. I'm going to say that one, but then these three need to get going. And we need to get them sorted. I'm also not happy with Kjargaard. He needs to get further forward as well. We need to really start to find a way to push him a bit further forward because in this game, he's not really doing it. We'll leave things as they are. We're going to go attacking and we're going to demand more. Right, highlight. First highlight of the game just as the uh, second half kicks off. Right, Akoli now. Looking for possession, gets it to Kjargaard. Into Carrillo. Carrillo over to Furic on the right-hand wing. Starting to run inside here around the centre circle. Gets it into the Costa. Ball through to Hlajek. Lovely pass through there. Hlajek desperately unlucky, but he is offside. A rebound there could have been kicked into the goal, but we're just desperately looking at Hlajek. I'm assuming it was Hlajek. Ran offside. Right, another highlight. Miranda with the throw to the Costa. Into Miranda again. It's a bit of a fluffed cross. It comes in. Kjargaard was there. Didn't really do anything with it though. Carrillo now looking to get it into the Costa. And it's the Costa who gets the goal. It's 1-1. That means it is going to go, I think, to extra time if it remains like this. But that is a great goal from the Costa. He's been a very important player for us this season. He's been very, very good as the playmaker. Carrillo comes inside here. Gets the ball to him. First time hit. Bottom corner. Happy days. 1-0 on the night. 1-1 one, one on aggregate. We need more. We need at least one more goal. They've only had one opportunity. We've had several. We need to take advantage of the dominance we've had in this game and push on for another goal and try and finish this in 90 minutes. That's what we need to do. Right, another highlight. 65th minute. Miranda. Forward to Jota now. Jota. Looking to cut inside or stay out on the wing. He's staying out there at the moment. Gets it into the Costa. Into Kjargaard. He's fainted it to Furic. And Furic just dwelled on it a bit too long. Great opportunity there. Kjargaard, lovely footwork. I don't know whether he meant to faint it. I'm going to say that he did, though. Sensational stuff. Right. Here come Villarreal, though. Makengo has been a bit of a thorn in our side in the past. Fernando gets it inside into the middle. Over to Paredes. Paredes now looking to do something. Goes back to Cuenca. Cuenca now looking to get forward. Makengo. That's Cuenca. Looking for Dan Juma. It's Dan Juma who's been a real thorn in our side before. We're trying to keep him out wide. Makengo now with the long shot. I tell you what. I tell you what. De Gea does a great job at defending that. Lovely save. And it is a corner. We have to be careful here. Villarreal whipping it in. Kawame's under it. Kjargaard managed to head it clear. But Bayana is the one who gets on the end of it. But the highlight does end. Right. Fire the boys up. Let's have a look at some substitutions. What can we do? I think we're going to... Hlajek's not had a good game at all. We don't have any forward options other than Kjargaard. So Kjargaard is going to go up front. We're just going to do it. I'm going to make him a deep line forward on attack. Let's give that a go. And we're going to bring on Femin in the middle and see what he can do. Uh, Jota has not had a good game either. I don't have enough personnel to do exactly what I want to do, which is I'd like to put Fjermin out because we don't have the other attacking midfielder. I do have Illich who's available. We could have Illich playing there. He can do the job quite well. Or we could have Miranda playing there. Let's do Miranda, actually. Miranda's had a good game. Let's put Miranda further forward. Feels like a bit of a weird thing to do, but we're out of attacking options in this game at the moment. So we need to do something. And then with Kjargaard, I just don't want him... Yeah, he's on shoot less often already. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Right. We're going to do that. And then the rest of it will just be based on fitness. Right, come on, boys. Highlight, corner, Miranda to take. Is he going to go short or he's going to go long? The players come short there, so he's going to go long. Looking for the head of Vandenberg, and Vandenberg has gone and done it. It is 2-0 on the night. We've got 14, 13 minutes left to play of normal time. And we might have just headed ourselves into another Copa del Rey final. Lovely corner. And Vandenberg has been a threat in the last five or so matches. He really has been. And now we just need to try and see the game out. We actually have another highlight here where we have possession. Fermin into Kjargaard. Goes back to Akoli. 
Akoli now looking for Korea. Gets it to him. Furic now running down the right wing. He's looking to cut inside, but he's waiting, biding his time. Gets it in. Looking for Kyargar. Can't quite find him with the low cross. Cleared out. And here come Villarreal. We need to get the ball off of them. And we need to get it off of them now. Paredes at the back. Gets it to Dodo. Dodo going out wide here. He's a good player, Dodo. Miranda does really well. Benefit of having a left back playing as a left winger. And now Illich gets forward as well. Illich now looking to cut inside. Looking to get the ball forward. Gets it to Firmino on the edge of the area. And actually ends up going to Carrillo who goes for the worldie. And it literally... Hits the top of the net. Right. It is time for changes. Again, what changes can we make with how tight... Well, not just with how tight this team are. They're actually not that tight. It's more I'm thinking what changes can we make with the personnel that we have. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Da Costa's going to go to Mazala. Orellana's going to come on. And that gives us the ability to take Furich off. Not had the best game. He's a bit tired as well. That's going to be change number one. I'm actually going to leave it at that. And then we'll keep the last two just in case we need them. But just a bit of extra energy in the midfield. A little bit more playmaking guile alongside Da Costa. I think isn't going to hurt. Kyargaard has led the line as well as we need him to, to be fair. I'm really, really happy with him. Right. Final few minutes. We're going to eke the clock out. Gomez is going to come off for Moncayola. And then I'm going to take off a Coley for Herculano. We're just going to, again, eke that clock out. With a final couple of changes. Not looking for them to do anything other than maintain what we've got. It's just to eke the time away. To try and get through. And we've done it. We have got through to the final. We've come from behind. <sighs> Yet again. The same way we did against Freiburg. And we are through to the final. I'm sure it's the final. I'm sure this was the semi-final. Yeah, it was. Good. Um, we are through to a final in the Copa del Rey against Valencia. That's winnable. That is winnable. When's the last time we played Valencia? We drew against them. We've got them to play in the league again. Have we? Yeah, we have. That's winnable. That's very winnable. Right. We will come back for that final against Valencia. And we'll come against either Atletico or Real Madrid either side of it. Who knows what. But that is a sensational result. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a big like on there for me. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Put a big smile on this face right here. I've been Stu. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you next time for the Copa del Rey final. Cheers.